What's going on, everybody? So, I ventured down to Lexington, Kentucky this past Saturday to a, for a card show. Some of you guys that were in a live stream on uh, Saturday night, and thank you for everybody who came in for the support that night, too. I really do appreciate it. You got to see a couple of the cards that I bought and got to hear some of what I've seen as trend-wise in Lexington. Uh, real quick, before we start the video uh, with the actual tables and stuff, there was probably around 20, 25 dealers, I would say, max in there. It was really a small card show in a small room compared to where they used to hold it at in a National Guard armory, which held a lot more tables, a lot more space. With that being said, there was not a huge selection of product because everybody had the same stuff. Everywhere I was going, it was all retail cars and stuff that was highly overproduced that just people weren't able to move. I seen a couple of small deals go down for like a bunch of uh, select football stuff and the cards, because of them being so reproduced as I covered before, the zebras and the field levels, the new club level and all that, they're just not selling for anything and it's not even really worth grading them because everybody's going to want to grade them as soon as uh, PSA opens back up. So that being said... Let's go ahead and get to the video, and then I'll show you guys what I bought. Keep in mind, this is my first time using the GoPro. So, <laughs> it's a little shaky. I'm not used to looking at, like, a real small screen. And I was trying to judge it, so this gave me a better idea, because I ran some practice runs, but I was using it more outside than I was trying to pick up something smaller, like cards and a display and everything. I promise they will get better. See you guys here in a few.
What's going on, everybody? We're back. So, as you've seen, there wasn't a whole lot that I highlighted in the video. Mainly because there wasn't much for me to really get to show. There, I only bought from, really, two vendors. And the one vendor was him and his sons. They each had, like, combined stuff together. Like, their tables were all together. So, I count that as one. So, first, like, from 502, uh... Sports cards with Chad. I believe it's 502 sports card. I just went completely blank. Picked up another Eason, you guys seen. Uh, pretty good shape overall. It'll go get great eventually. If he does start for the Colts one day, that'll be great. If not, I'm close to Indianapolis. If he does get a crack at it this year, next year, two years down the road, I'll at least have some Eason autos to where I can make a little bit of money back. And then at the same time, for I reinvest that into uh, stuff like I did today. Now, also, when I went to the, I went to this table to begin with, and I ended up doing a small deal where I wanted to walk around and then see what else there was, and I came back and we worked, like I said, a deal, a bigger deal out, which made a lot more sense because I ended up getting a couple cards that I've wanted for a while and just never pulled the trigger on. A couple were PC items, a couple were long-term holds. And these are all going to go out to be graded eventually. Every single one of them. And I don't know if I remember, I had to redo this video, but my allergies are acting up like crazy right now, and I end up scratching my right eye. So I've been, every time my right eye starts draining, i got to hurry up and get a Kleenex out. So bear with me in this video. All right, guys. So this is the first one, the Enfuego Jordan. Really, really good piece. Uh, something that's been missing from my Jordans. I finally got a chance to pick one up. I just won't buy raw from eBay because I don't know what I'm getting. These here I got to see in person. I got to go through some of the cards multiple times. Just like he had multiple Durants out there from tops. The white border, I'll call it the base, the black border, and even the orange border, which I'd never seen before. And just crazy with some of the stuff. The next one here is from SPX. Another one that's uh, not been in my collection. Very, very nice card overall. And it'll go off to be graded whether, like I said, it comes back at 8, 9, or 10. It'll be in there, and then we'll just learn about upgrading down the road. Let's say this was 06. Oh, no, 07, 08. Ultra. I'm a big fan of Fleer Ultra because they did the gold medallions. They also had platinum medallions, too, in some of the products. This is LeBron James. We all know it's playoff time. This guy is going to go down as one of the top five in the NBA. And when he does retire, goes in the Hall of Fame, his stuff will go back up. So now, it, to me, is a buy on LeBron James stuff to hold. And I just don't want the base stuff. I mean, the gold medallions are hard hits when you start looking at the sets and how many you got per box and everything. So... If you ever get a chance to see these out there, it's a good pickup onto them. Picked up a couple Kobe's I like from back in the day. This is like when the acetates first started. This was Fleury X. I want to say these were oh yeah, 06, 07. So these were the 06, 07s. Two of them. Really nice cards offhand. Uh, these will go out to get graded. They're really, really hard grades. But these were very clean from looking at them. So I'm hoping. We get nines on them, maybe a ten or so, but they'll go out. If they come back eights, they come back eights on to them. Next up, Kevin Durant. Clear rookie, but just not the normal. We got the glossy. This is what you want to look for, stuff like the glossies from Fleer and then the Tiffany's from Tops because they were so limited and hard to find. This is a great card which will end up going off to be graded, whether it comes back 8, 9, or 10. I think Durant, long-term, is a good hold. He's a pure scorer out there in the NBA, and his stuff could only increase in the value. Moving back into Kobe land, Top Stadium Club rookie. Another beautiful card. If I had to buy a cheap Kobe rookie, this is it right here because it looks good, and... It has a chance to grade. You never know. Could come back 9, could come back 8, could come back 10. I didn't microscope it. I was just looking them over and took the best ones out of the stack. Up next, Pops Chrome LeBron Chalk Dust. Beautiful, beautiful card. 
this will go off to be great. This is the one where it had to be worked in a deal because where they were at on price and what he would bottomly take for it was over where I wanted to be at. So we end up working a bigger deal out to where everything made sense. The other one, one more Durant. Gold medallion, lucky 13, rookie Durant. Beautiful card. If you look on eBay, if you can get this in a 10, boom. But still, just to own a P this card here into my collection, this is one I've been tracking down now for over a year. And I've never seen them at a show, and I was like, I'm going to have to go to bigger shows. A lot of this stuff I'd have to go to bigger shows to find because everybody that I see at these shows is all selling a lot of stuff. They're pulling out of retail, and it's just not moving. It was at first, but now people are starting to get smart on retail. I wanted to get stuff that was produced more like, I would say, you know, 10, 15, maybe even 20 years ago. And try to buy the stuff that was a little bit more limited. No base stuff, really. I mean, there were a couple base cards in there, like the Kobe's from Fleury X. But those there are just so hard to find in good condition. And I had to grab a hold of them when I seen them, especially for the deal that I was given on to this whole package. Because like I said, I worked a small deal out at first, and I came back, and then we I wanted a lot more. If I would have brought more money, I mean, the guy would take PayPal. I would have bought a lot more if PSA would be open right now, because there was some endless possibilities in there. He had stacks of Kobe Topps rookie cards. And this is where it started really making me think just how produced, overproduced was this stuff back then. Because he had a ton. Even behind him, he had extra, like, Durant's and Kobe's. So when I was getting to look through some of this stuff, you know, that's where I got to pick the better. Now, the gold medallion, Durant, he only had one. The Chalk Dust Tops Chrome was one. The Stadium Club was his only one. The Glossies, when there was four, I think, total. These were the only two EXs, so I snagged them. This was a solo, and the Jordans were all by themselves. But if you see in the video, I was trying to get an angle to show how many Durants there were. It was just insane. Insane. He, by far, they made the show worthwhile to me. And I've talked to a couple people on the way home and yesterday. And normally when I go to a show, I bring money, but... Most I'll spend is like two, three hundred bucks. There's nothing I can use. I don't want to put a lot of the this stuff that I see there in the store because it's just so overpopulated, and the price point on to it just wouldn't make sense where I'd buy that to where I'd have to sell it and stuff. But they they made my show a good one. I thanked them and everything. We exchanged numbers down there. I said, hey, if you're coming back next month to Lexington, let me know and I will drive down because. The basketball that they had was just, it was so much of an assortment. Now, there was like, you know, ding corners off centering on a lot of the stuff. But when you have it in bulk and I get to flip through that stuff to find the best ones out, and you know, with the hope that I get some tens out of it, I'm rolling with it. You know, I'm rolling. But again, everybody appreciate it. Just wanted to show what I see in the Lexington show. Um, there was not a lot of Zions there, which went with the trend of the Dallas show, that people are holding those Zions because they're just dropping in value, especially all the base rookies. Uh, where the Prisms, I mean, they were, you know, eight nine hundred dollars at one time frame, or now down below 500 you can pick them up for some, on some of the eBay stuff. Great at PSA 10s. So, if I was Zion hunting, I'd want an auto right now. And it would probably be, you know, not a top one, but like a good mid-level autograph that I could hold on to it. But there was nothing like that there, because that was one of the things on my list, seeing if I could find a Zion rookie auto at this Lexington show. And by far, wasn't going to happen there. All right, everybody, I'm out. Appreciate your time on the video. I will see you guys later on this week.